So for Kete, my recent CD, Kete is really a wonderfully woven cloth made of cotton. And um, it's got all kinds of patterns, primarily blues and yellows and golds and some greens. And it's similar to where my mother comes from, the kente uh, cloth woven. But in my mother's language, kete is really um, a dance form in the royal courts. And so there's a lot of dance music in the CD I was, giving, I was recording. And I thought it would be really fun to have that double play of words, the wonderful woven fabric and the different kinds of music that we're going to be um, recording from different parts of the African diaspora being woven into the CD, as well as the dance music, the royal court, Kete. So the anthology, this five volume anthology of music that I uh, compiled together was pretty much uh, a labor of love. And I had to go around doing some research in the, at the Schomburg, part of the New York Public Library. It was really interesting also finding music from different parts, writing to other composers to contribute some music. So it's a very big project. I really would have liked to record anything, but it was also important to let people hear different kinds of music. So I do have rather edgy music in um, my CDs, but also um, works where composers actually wanted to write something more melodic. Egyptian music, for example, I do. I play um, Gamal Abdel Rahim's variations on Egyptian folk song. And the music is really um, quite varied. It goes from something which is really authentically Egyptian in quality to something which is more 20th century because he actually studied 20th century uh, techniques of composition to something which is more um, tonal here and there. I hope people don't think of my CDs where the music is actually elegant and beautiful as being me trying to be safe about it and putting a recital together or putting a CD together. I'm just trying to show the wide range of styles. My work isn't done yet. And at the moment, uh, I've got another CD in the works. And this is a two piano and piano duet CD that I'm doing with Susanna Garcia, a Zanyaho Garcia duo. And we're very excited about it, and we hope that um, a lot of this music is going to be performed and become a regular part of the canon. So for example, we have Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel, an amazing 
work, actually a set of variations on this Negro spiritual by Thomas Kerr. And I'm just hoping that this is actually going to spur interest, more interest in this, in my opinion, genius's work. I'm hoping that women composers, especially of African descent, are also better highlighted. I'm so glad that the music of Florence Price is really making a huge impact. But there's so many more composers that need to be discovered or need to be highlighted or need to be celebrated, you know, so that they just, again, become a regular part of the canon. <laughs>